What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Poison Ivy, the DJ, official team DJ of the Dallas Mavericks, right here at Media Day, okay? 2019-2020 season is upon us, Dallas, and I'm bringing you special coverage. Getting to know the guys on a little bit more quirky love. Your family is hungry. Where is Ryan taking them for dinner? I'm probably taking them to Ascension Cafe. They've got uh, a ton of Australian food. I'm not sure if it's owned by some Aussies or, or not, but uh, we got Vegemite and Lamington. You know, you have family coming in from Virginia. They're coming to visit you. I know you've only been here all of like uh, a couple of weeks, but they're really hungry, right? Where is Josh taking them? Uh, you know, my family. Uh, I'll take him to Wing Bucket. I went there the other day, what? and I feel like my, my family would, would throw down there. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you have made your way around the city. That's dope. All right, Central Track fans. The real big text himself is with us. We oh. have <laughs> oh. number. That's your new nickname. Do you know that? Do you accept that, Bobbin? Can you? Can we? No. Bobbin. Bobby. We won't go with Bobby. I'm about to say. Okay, got you. I was gonna say Bobby. So don't call him Big Text, okay? <laughs> Who on your team thus far have you found out that has the worst taste in music? Worst taste in music? Uh, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Not like, yet. Uh, not okay. yet. Well, I have a quick question for you. When you figure that out, sounds good now. Is make sure it sounds good. Yes. Uh huh. Which is what I heard you like Latin music. No, like Latin. Yeah. Like what I listen, I think he have the best taste. Okay, so will you help me update my Serbian music catalog? I will. Okay. He he put something for Serbian or not? Yeah, I have not learned something. So you have to help me out. We need okay. We need one song. Okay. No, no, I, I'll let you know. I'm going to talk with him. I'm going to talk with the boss. Okay. If you had to pick one celebrity who you think accurately would be a great celebrity comparison, who would it be? Why? One that wouldn't make you mad, because usually those kinds of things make people like, eh. Uh, I got to go with Will Smith. You know, I've been I've been hearing that a lot lately. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you think it has a lot to do with the haircut? The haircut, and I, I guess we're both goofy. We're real goofy. The swag, and maybe the future pockets, too. How about that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Hopefully, that's the goal. The question is, how many times have you heard the song, The Man Down Under? How uh, it's hard to keep track when it's on repeat in my car, oh, so okay. I don't know. So he's pretty much creating royalties by himself, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Who would you say has the the you know so far the worst taste in music? Um, it's either between Maxi or I mean I kind of like Kristaps when he plays Spanish music. A little bit. <laughs> oh, uh, got me to that side. Yeah, a little the bit. Bunny, have a little you heard bit. the bad bunny? I didn't really get into the bad bunny. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Let me warn you, it's coming. <laughs> There's one thing you want Mavs fans to know about you and what your expectations for this season are, what would it be? Um, I, you know, I think I'm a very selfless player. You know, I think, like, my, my number one thing is, is to win. I mean, I think that's, you know, a goal that I, this team has to win a lot, make the playoffs. So, um, I, I, think, I would say that. Now, look, this is my fourth season with the team. And when we make the playoffs this season, it'll be my first time making the playoffs. So I really appreciate you for that in advance. We look forward to seeing you on the court this season.